Well, hi there. My name is Mr. Martinez, and this Adobe Animate CC tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make a basic ball animation using frame by frame animation. So once I have my program open, I'm going to make a new document. I'm going to make it 1280 by 720, and I'm going to make the frame rate 24, and I'm going to click Create. So right off the bat, uh, you can see my workspace here. You can always change your workspace by clicking on Window, Workspace. You'll get different options. I'm going to just stick to Essentials. And I'm going to click here. I want to see my stage, so I'm going to show, make sure I can see the whole thing here. Just like any other Adobe programs, if you hover your mouse over items, Adobe will tell you what they do. As well, if you see these icons with little triangles in the bottom corners, if you left click on them, you'll see other options. So the first thing I want to do is I want to kind of just make a blue sky background. So I'm going to click on my rectangle tool. I'm going to make sure that object drawing mode is, is uh, highlighted. And I'm going to choose a blue color. And I'm just going to draw out my sky. Great. Then I'm going to choose the oval tool. And I'm going to make some rolling hills. Choose the green color here. And I'm just going to add a few hills here. This is the easiest way for me, I find, to make some hills. Now, what's cool about Flash, sorry, Flash, Adobe Animate, if I click on this arrow tool, if I hover close to an edge, I can click and I can modify the drawings I've made. So it's a little bit too perfect. So I want to just make it look uh, a little more like actual hills, so something like that. I want to stay organized with my layers. So if I look at my timeline here, I've got layer one. I'm going to double click here and I'm going to call this my background. Now, I don't want to change my background at the moment and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to make sure to lock that layer. I'm going to click on the new layer icon to have layer two. Double click and then this is going to be my ball. For my ball, I'm going to grab the oval tool. This time for the fill, uh, let's make it a bit more fun. I'm going to go down here and select this fun gradient red color. I'm going to hold shift and draw out my perfect circle. Now, I think I'm ready to animate. It's very helpful to have onion skinning on. Onion skinning will let you see where your object was in the previous frame. So I'm going to select all frames. So I'm going to take and add another frame. Watch what happens in my timeline when I press the insert keyframe button. I'm adding another frame in this timeline. So now I'm going to drag the ball down, take another picture or add another frame, and keep dragging it down. What's nice about the onion skinning is that I can see the trajectory of the ball. So there we go, keep dropping it. And I'm going to do about 12 frames, like so. Now, when it reaches the bottom here, I want it to squish make it a bit more realistic. So to do that, a very helpful tool in Animate is the Free Transform tool. I'm going to click on the Free Transform tool. You'll notice you have this box around it. You have this white circle here. The white circle is a reference point. So I want it to squish against the ground. So I'm going to move this reference point to the bottom. And I'm going to drag this ball down here. And I'm going to squish it sideways a bit. Now, to see what your movie looks like, I can press play and there's the ball getting squished. Now, I want that ball to bounce back up. So I could go back and do frame by frame, or what's handy is I can just select all these frames and copy them over. So if I select that first one, hold shift and select this one, I can right click, copy these frames, right click here and paste them in. Now, you'll notice now my background didn't get extended. So to extend my background, I can right click here and add a frame there as well. So let's press play. Now it's just repeating, but I want this to bounce back up. What I can do is with these frames, I can hold shift again. I can highlight them and reverse them. So it'll just put them in the reverse order. I'm going to reverse those frames. And now when I play my movie, it'll go back up, except I shouldn't have added that frame. Let me delete that frame. All right, so I'm going to play that again, and my ball bounces up. So that is a basic tutorial on how to make a ball bounce uh, using Adobe Animate 
CC.